Once in our life, we all have wondered about going to space. With curiosity to explore different planets, our solar system, and even multiple galaxies. We often think, why I should use only a rocket to go there? Why can't I just take an aircraft and fly straight towards space? Today, we will find three major reasons behind this question. Now let's catch a flight full of curiosity and head it straight towards the video. The first and the most obvious reason that disqualify airplanes from travelling to space is one of humans friend for survival, air. All airplanes need air for lift. When the air passes over the wings or the airfoils, then the lift is generated by the plane. During takeoff, an airplane builds up speed until the air passing over its wings generate lift that is stronger than the weight of the plane, thus making it airborne. The plane has to maintain an adequate speed in relation to air density to stay in the sky and hang out with clouds. As we all know that outer space is completely devoid of air, thus making wings of the plane useless. Moreover, as we go higher, the density of atmosphere decreases which would allow planes to generate adequate lift. While there is no official maximum altitude for flying from aviation authorities, aircraft carriers have their own maximum height that they are capable of flying. Private planes and commercial jets can go up to 42,000 feet, while smaller aircraft often stay around 10,000 feet. Most flights traveling around the world often fly at an average height of 35,000 feet. Planes going higher than the maximum height could lead to less supply of oxygen to the engines, which can cause engine failure. In 2004, Pinnacle Airlines Flight 3701 crashed due to the same reason. But there was an exception. A highly technological advanced stealth plane named Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, well by hearing that name our mind definitely creates an image of a technological beast. Well jokes apart, Blackbird had the staggering ability to reach maximum height of 85,069 feet, which is equal to 31 Burj Khalifa or 3 Mount Everest stacked on each other. Seriously, this much of height could make anyone high. At this height, air is only 2% as dense as the air at sea level. The Blackbird was designed to fly at extreme altitudes at high speed to evade enemy aircrafts and anti-aircraft missiles. But even a record-making height of 85,069 feet is less than one-third the distance to space. As we have previously discussed that absence of oxygen can cause engine failure, in addition to that, it also creates a problem for the passengers. A human being has a standard maximum altitude of 26,000 feet. Beyond this altitude, commonly referred as death zone, a person cannot survive as the oxygen density in the air will be critically low. This will take us in a condition called hypoxia in which tissues of our body are deprived of oxygen. That is why mountain climbers carry oxygen cylinders with them. So we have to wear a suit that would give us constant supply of oxygen as well as maintain the pressure around our body. And I bet that it won't be following any of the fashion trends. Even the pilots of Blackbird used to wear a special suit. While absence of oxygen may take humans to hypoxia, it will also make jet engines powerless. Jet engines suck air through their front with a fan. A compressor inside the engine greatly increases the pressure of the air. Then the compressed air is sprayed with fuel and the mixture is set alight by an electric spark. The ignited mixture expands violently and escapes through a narrowed aperture in the back of the engine called the nozzle, which helps to create the thrust. As the air passes to the nozzle, it spins another fan called the turbine, which in turn rotates the compressor. The key ingredient here is oxygen without which a jet engine cannot work. That is why rockets carry their own supply of liquid oxygen to burn rocket fuel. This is how they are able to operate in the upper reaches of the atmosphere and in space where standard air breathing aircraft would suffocate. We all have studied about escape velocity in our high school that it is the minimum speed needed by a body to escape the gravitational attraction of a particular planet. Our planet has an escape velocity of 25,020 miles per hour. At this speed, it would take you less than an hour to complete a round around the Earth. 
The object also has to travel 328,000 feet or 11 Mount Everest stacked on each other, which is where the planet's atmosphere end and space begins. Aircrafts cannot produce enough thrust to even touch this limit, thus making them unfit for space travel. To date, this has only been accomplished by rocket propulsion. A rocket can travel faster than Mark 33, which is 25,319.9 mile per hour, which is sufficient enough to go beyond escape velocity and is 20 times faster than the speed of sound. No other means of propulsion has ever been discovered that can meet this criteria. Well, now we know that jetliners were never designed to take us to space. But companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are constantly working on space tourism and reusable rockets. And in future, we will be definitely buying tickets for our first trip to space and clicking pictures and making boomerang for our Instagram feed.